The San Diego Wave FC is just 30 minutes out from taking on Angel City FC in what is expected to be a huge match in National Women's Soccer League history. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon Handy. And I'm Carrie Lane. Steve Price and Kirsten Holmes have the night off. Now the game is the first soccer match that will be played at the new Snapdragon Stadium and it will be in front of the largest single game crowd in NWSL history. CB8's uh, Rocio Del Fie joins us live from Mission Valley with more. Good evening. Hey guys, that's right. The stage is all set for tonight's historic matchup against LA here at Snapdragon Stadium. It's a complete sellout, and the excitement from fans here tonight is palpable. There is so much excitement from fans tonight, and right now the players have taken to the field behind me to start their warm ups. And not only will there be a big crowd here tonight, it will set the attendance record for the National Women's Soccer League at 32,000. The current record is about 25,000, and it was set by the Portland Thorns in 2019. And of course, this comes at an exciting time for women's soccer. The U.S. Soccer Federation reached a deal to pay the men's national team and women's national team equally, which eliminates the pay gap. Fans that we spoke to say it's a historic uh, sign and brings a new level of energy to women's sports. I'm really excited. I mean, I think this is a huge step for like women's sports, uh, women advocacy. Um, I think the San Diego Wave has done an incredible job just kind of stepping out and making waves already. I honestly just love our team and love the spirit behind it. So I'm excited to cheer and lose my voice tonight. And again, fans are starting to fill the seats here, the stands, the energy is crazy. The game does kick off at seven o'clock tonight. Yeah, Rosie, it looks like a blast there. My husband and my daughter will be out there. Now, after a rough start for the stadium during that heat wave, how is the situation out there tonight? I know it's a lot cooler. Oh, yeah. Well, without the heat wave, you can definitely say that conditions are more than perfect for some soccer, uh, for a soccer game tonight. And I'm sure that the many fans that are here tonight, the 32,000 of them, are more than thankful for that. It is much cooler. That marine layer rolling back in, which will also help. Temperatures are about three to four degrees below seasonal norms. So yes, this will be a much more pleasant experience. For yeah, everyone. and a lot of fun just to see the women out there doing big things. I love it. The female empowerment. Thank you, Rosia, so much for that live report. Also in about 30 minutes, global superstar Bad Bunny is set to take the stage at his sold out concert at Peco Park tonight. Yeah, this is video from last night as preparations for the concert were underway. The Puerto Rican artist has back to back shows at Peco Park this weekend and the event has brought massive crowds to San Diego. Some even traveled from other parts of the state and from out of the country to be in San Diego for Bad Bunny's concert. The artist wraps up his stop here tomorrow 